alaikum and welcome to Genius Lounge. I'm Savia Kamali. Today on the show, we have Suana Ahmed, a specialist in marketing and event management and entrepreneur. Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum Sabia. Thank you for inviting me to the show. It's good to have you. So tell us a bit more about yourself, who you are and what you do. Um, well, my name is Suhana Ahmed. Um, I'm the Managing Director of Pearl Advertising. Mm -hmm. So we do events, corporate community events and I'm also the CEO of, for the world's only Bengali wedding fairs. Okay. Uh, we hosted one in London in May and yeah. we're hosting one in Birmingham in December. Okay, that sounds great. When you were young, did you actually project yourself to be the successful person you are today? Um, well, I, when I was young, actually, I wanted to be a teacher. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just, I guess it was a cultural thing. Um, it just kind of made sense and I liked uh, kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but when you say successful, I haven't, I feel like I haven't reached my peak yet. Yeah, of course. Um, You're still I've young, got, so you've got a long way to go. I've got a lot, you know, a lot more to do. Yeah. But um, where I am now, I'm, I'm quite happy with uh, how far I've got. But there's, there's still a lot more to go. I guess in your case, it's slightly different because your main training and your understanding of marketing, you picked up all that in Manhattan, didn't you? What was that like? Um, yeah, in Manhattan, I, I did my internship mm -hmm. for marketing. Yeah. Uh, um, with uh, Link Consulting's, but also I brought that back with me to London, and then I've used it. I've, it, you know, I didn't just get everything on a plate. I worked so when I was at uni, I, I worked. Um, I even worked in market research, you know, mm -hmm. um, but it still helped even yeah. working in market research because you've had more of an understanding of people, cultures, and yeah. stuff like that. Um, so yeah, but going to Manhattan, uh, marketing there is very fast compared to London. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, if situations are different I would have liked to carry on in yeah I would like to carry on there because they're, they're a lot ahead of us yeah. um, I, I go to a lot of conferences and stuff so people from Twitter and Facebook and stuff they come and they they teach you um, how to market your products and business online and you know that we're, we're a little bit behind because we, mm -hmm. we actually what they teach us there so we get the information say nine months later here. Do you think we're that behind? We're not, no, I, that, that's not that behind, nine yeah. months is not that behind. Okay. Nine months is okay. You think? Yeah, because uh, recently the, there was a web summit in uh, Portugal. Mm -hmm. um, it's the biggest one actually, over 50,000 people attended from all over the world. But the things that they're going to tell, the things that they did tell people there, we're not even going to know. The normal public won't even know about it or pick, pick it up um, until another year or two years. So what, what made you come back, back from Manhattan? Oh, it was, I was at uni, so, um, so I, I, had to, I had to come back and, and carry on here. So, and plus my family are all here. And I was yeah. I at that time I married now, but at that time I wasn't married either. So you also uh, travelled a bit before you got married, didn't you? Yeah, I've travelled. I've travelled a lot actually. Um, even now I do. To me and my husband, we do travel mm -hmm. as well. Um, he's he's a very cool guy, <laughs> but um, yeah, travelling helps a lot. But um, the first places I travelled by myself was obviously to Bangladesh, mm -hmm. um, because my puppy and that lived there, so my parents felt a bit comfortable for me to go there. But yeah, I've travelled to Europe and obviously the US, Canada, Switzerland. Do you think your travelling has helped you be the person you are in terms of marketing and event managing? Absolutely, because every different culture and every different country, it does have its own uh, marketing concepts and stuff. And it, it's that whole thing that if you keep people to only, if you close people in a certain place, then they don't have extra understanding of stuff. So, for example, if I was going to brand a product to the Bangladesh community, there'll be lots of things I'd have to think about. For example, what the model's wearing in the advert, possibly. Um, if I was going to brand something to, uh, for say, for example, a mosque, again, it will be the kind of thing you'd have to kind of th think about yeah. what they're going to so wear. The needs are different. Yeah, and yeah, different countries as well. Yeah. Um, for example, Europe, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna brand something in Europe, depending on the product, maybe again the clothing is yeah. a big factor here. Um, obviously, you know about the situation with France and uh, hijab and stuff like that. Cool. So, if you're gonna brand your product in France, you're not gonna. No. Yeah. So it, it, all this stuff. So when you do travel, you do kind of understand a bit more about people. So and you mentioned when you were young, you thought you were gonna be a teacher, be a cultural reason or whatever reason. Mm -hmm. But when did you actually decide event management is what you wanted to do? Coming back to the culture thing, it's because when I was, even though even my puppy and stuff, they're all graduates yeah. and stuff, even my dad, but it was this uh, thing that, you know, I just wanted uh, a very, I don't, a very humble life where I have a job which works around my family. 
Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And teaching is a fantastic career to have. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense because your kids, you know, you're off when your kids are off and stuff. Yeah. So um, that's kind of what I wanted to do. But then my love for branding came in. I like the fact that, um, you know, you come to me with a product. Yeah. Like, for example, um, this is this is going to be quite funny and I think people will kind of laugh. But when people say to me, describe your job. So it is kind of like this, that if you came to me with a stone, like a normal stone from the beach, and you came to me and said, Sahana, well, this is a stone. Um, can you help me market it and sell it? So what our job is, is to package it, to kind of find out where this stone's from. So for example, if it's from a special mount, a special, sorry, a special beach in say Brighton or something like that, we'd put uh, color on it to represent something. And then it could be like, um, we could say, well, if you heat this stone up and you rub it on your knee, it, um, it helps with knee pain. Does it? And, and, no, this is the, this is what it is. But this is what marketing and branding is: is the fact that you come to me with a product, yeah. where, whatever the product is, and we we research it to find out how we can brand it to sell it. Really. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. Um, but where did the passion comes from for you? Because it's not an easy job. I know you wanted a kushti, even though teaching isn't a kushti job, but it has more holidays. It's around the family. But whereas with marketing and event management, it's a twenty-four hour job, and you're constantly mm -hmm. working. How do you manage that? 100% um, su support from family is really important. Like mm -hmm. um, when I decided to open my own business, I was still working somewhere else as well yeah. because the first few years, and whether you're opening a small business or a big business, the first few years are the most difficult. And um, so I always had support. Like my mum said to me, well, if, if you want to do it, do it. And even my husband. But at the beginning, when I used to be up till like 3 a.m., my husband used to also want to come to bed, you know, because I had to kind of, kind of prove as well that you know I am serious mm -hmm. and now when I am when I do have an event like this week I'm working on two events the British Bangladesh Who's Who and the UK BCCI mm -hmm. and um, so when I am like doing different events and stuff he will stay up with me or make me coffee and stuff or he'll say to me is there anything I could do because my husband works in media so he deals with uh, my media side of things mm -hmm. so that's one less stress for me because it is quite a big thing the publicity and things like that so um, support from family has definitely help and support from friends so if I suddenly need somebody somebody extra to help with the entrance or just anything I can you mentioned my friends. you are involved in British Bangladesh who's who what is your involvement the British Bangladesh who's who is uh, the only publication that's in the British Library um, and my involvement is I've been working uh, on it for three years so I help with uh, t to be honest with er anything and everything to, to do with it Talking about awards, you won one yourself recently, didn't you? Yeah, um, last uh, Sunday in Birmingham, I won the British uh, Talent, British Bangladeshi Talent, Young Talent Award. I was given an award by the Mayoress of Birmingham mm -hmm. and the director as well for um, event management and marketing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Um, beside, beside British Bangladesh Who's Who, you've also been involved in fashion show, you organise your own fashion show, where did that come from? Um, well, a few years ago during um, summer, mm -hmm. I actually did a course on fashion illustrations and um, I either drew my own, we, we kind of, you, you do your own designs and stuff like that. So, but I've always been interested in uh, fashion, colours, themes, trends and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You've been part of many successful events and um, fashion show is one of them and you hosted your own. Do you want to tell us a bit more about your fashion show because I was more after is it an event for business to show cast or was it a catwalk or was it what exactly what was your motivation and aim behind doing a fashion because there's so many fashion show at the moment at the moment there's so many everyone does a fashion show so what was what made yours different okay the love for fashion has always been there it's kind of like a family thing um but then one summer i actually did a course in fashion illustrations me and my friends just decided to do it and i kind of um enjoyed it and it, i carried it on from there um yeah there has been a lot of fashion shows this year but mine was the first one in the Bangladesh community that took place in may mm -hmm. um this year and it's not just about uh businesses but it was also to promote uh bangladeshi fashion designers um mm -hmm. so the the my event is actually called the B Bengali Wedding Fairs, so it's the world's only wedding fair. So I've hosted one in London, and the, as I said before, the next one's in Birmingham. Now, what makes it unique is that everything on the catwalk, from the jewellery, everything, the designers have to be Bangladeshi. You don't have to be from the UK, you don't have to be British born, but you must be Bangladeshi. And that's kind of the niche about mine, because obviously there are many others, um, many other catwalks of fashion that take place, but that's kind of what I promote. Uh, this year um, I've had uh, a bit of follow up from BBC Sheffield as well. It's, I mean, the feedback I'm getting is, is very good. What motivates you? 
What motivates me is the fact uh, that with marketing you see change. And what inspires you? Inspires me is, I love travelling as you yeah. already said, and I love um, fashion and I love cooking. Okay. Um, so there's lots of um, inspirational people um, and yeah. Would you consider yourself being successful or how would you measure success? Um, I, as I said before, I don't think I'm right there yet. I think if you came and interviewed me in five years, I have a goal, I have a plan. Um, there's, you know, I did win one award and to be honest, that was, I'm, I'm a very behind the scenes person, you know, um, and with, with this award, I'm, I'm more than, like, I'm so happy that I won it. But there is one particular award that I, I want to win one day. Um, it and it, it's a, a British award, it's uh, Women in uh, Marketing. Oh. Um, uh, it's a mainstream uh, award and that's why the people that work on my team um, are women and this award is actually given to uh, successful uh, women and companies so in, in te within 10 years or 20 years that's my aim to one day work hard enough and work with enough brands to kind of even if I'm nominated for that award actually it would be yeah I think you're downplaying yourself I think I pretty much think you're quite successful in yourself because you worked with a very big companies and you've got your experience from Manhattan and you're part of Bangladesh who's who and you also organise your own fashion show and that requires a lot of work and a lot of talent. I don't think people acknowledge how much hard work goes in. It's not easy, you don't put up an event like that, there's a lot of work and I think that in itself is an achievement. Is there anything in particular that scares you? Oh god, yeah I mean before any event I think it's the fact one thing I get scared about is um, my stage falling over. I think that's the most scariest thing, and it's my sound. I just always, any event, um, I, I do kind of panic, oh my God, yeah, Allah, please. Like in the morning, I'll just do a few extra du'as, and I think, Allah, please let, let my stage not fall. And the funniest thing, when I had my last show, um, my presenter uh, was uh, Radi Ali, and I, uh, we, at the brief, I, I, I choose specific people because it's easy to work with them, and there's some people you can work with and you can just leave it to them. Yeah. You know, and it is that thing that I said to her, even if the stage falls, I trust her enough to know that she'll let the stage fall, but she'll carry on. Yeah. And um, so I am, that's one thing is I do work with certain people because um, it's just, it makes, gives you more confidence. Mm -hmm. But it is also the community mm -hmm. um, and the media um, have helped me a lot. Um, in what ways? In what ways is the fact that they've always supported me, they've attended my events, they've attended my press conferences, they've given me, uh, they helped me up on the platform mm -hmm. and that, that really helps. I mean, you can have family support, um, etc. But marketing promotions for any event, whether Bangladeshi or whatever, it's, it's extremely important. What matters in your life? What's important to you? Um, for me to work hard but w within my uh, but keep by respect for my family myself and uh, work well within the community so if you were to give your younger self advice what would you say to them um i would say that i there are some points in my life where i should have been a bit more stern i should have put my foot down a little bit mm -hmm. um but then on the other hand being Having my personality, um, you know, being I am very friendly and I am yeah. very approachable, um, that's also helped because obviously when you do events and stuff, you have to work with a lot of people, um, especially sponsors and stuff, because yeah. they they are what help us um, to be able to. Because a lot of my events are free, mm -hmm. so they actually help us. Um, so I would say that's one thing I would probably say. Just uh, be a bit more. Natural. What were your struggles to um, reach where you are today? Um, just situations just do happen in life and you can't kind of, there's, you just have to kind of go. Is there anything in particular that you'd like to discuss that um, was a struggle for yourself that would inspire others who are watching you today? Um, what I would say is that everyone has some kind of struggle in their life and, th and then you have the little patch where you think, you know what, I need, to, I need to kind of shake this off. But when you're having that struggle, if you have your family and friends if, if you have them with you, plus if you're strong enough to think, I can get through this, then, you know, it takes a year, two years, whatever, but you get through it and then you work work harder. And I think with me that, you know, whatever situation took place, it did help me work harder because I thought, you know what, I, wanna, I wanted to be something, I wanted to do something and I've done it. What advice would you give our viewers today? Uh, I would say it doesn't matter how old you are. Um, you know, um, it doesn't matter with, whether you already have a family 
or whether you're, you know, it doesn't matter whatever your circumstances, if you have a dream, whether, and even if it's something like you're good at cooking, you can still just do something like a, a YouTube blog and then work with people like that to build your brand and to build your career. It's funny how you mentioned YouTube blog, because I think, isn't that something that has taken over altogether? Absolutely. Not just YouTube, but even Facebook, Instagram, um, uh, Snapchat is something. And this is why I always advise whether you own uh, a travel agency or whatever you own. And this is, this is, by the way, when I come back to going to all these branding and marketing events, um, this is what they teach us years and two years uh, you know, in advance that you go here and, and they say that videoing helps. Mm -hmm. When I put a video up of an event, even if it's just a funny video, I'm just saying come to this event, you know, within two days I get 2,400 views because people could visually see it. Mm -hmm. um, and it, do you think that has helped with your fashion shows and all the other events that you Absolutely. I've used, um, I've worked with uh, a, a lot of uh, bloggers, like uh, one of my showstoppers was Romena 101 mm -hmm. and she's, uh, she's a Bangladeshi as well. Um, she has over 200,000 followers on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, having her work with us helped as well. Um, well. Obviously we worked with an Indian person as well, Shamzeen, and she's just as fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, so it does help even uh, for my show in December, we're working with uh, different uh, bloggers yeah. and stuff. But also working with different people from the community helps as well. You know, um, with How do you think your fashion show has been perceived within the community? Uh, mashallah, very well. Yeah. Um, and the re one of the reasons is because it's not just about weddings and whatever. We've taken um, different religions into account. So in my fashion show, we do represent uh, Muslim Bangladeshis, we represent Hindu Bangladeshis and stuff like that. So we had one where with the hijab, we had a catwalk. Uh, we had another catwalk with the ban because in uh, Hinduism, like in, in like Calcutta and stuff, yeah. um, they do have a lot of uh, like uh, uh, ceremonies with ban, so you come out like this. Isn't that just on the wedding day? or? Yeah, I mean, my, mine is a wedding fair. Yeah. yeah, so that's why we incorporated religions as well into it. Also, when you're coming back to that, is um, we also work with wedding services, so different yeah. types of wedding services, so it kind of, uh, that's how we got more support, I guess, because it wasn't just about whoever's getting married, it's if you're planning on getting married as well, looking for partners and stuff. We work what with. was it like organising a marriage event? Not my region, sorry, a fashion show. Fashion show, it was very stressful. But it's, again, it's picking the right team. Like my choreographer, she was fantastic. Obviously, we stick together, we brief, but it's teamwork at the end of the day. What's the difference between working in America and working here? I mean, I'm sure you worked with the community over there as you do here. What was the difference? Um, well, the big difference is in America, that was on a small scale because I was actually learning more about branding and marketing. Um, but working it, now, I'm working one to one. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I when you say one to one, is that your company with another company? Or? No, one to one is like I will work directly with the community or mm -hmm. directly with things. And I, I've hosted uh, like I, the borough I live in, they've never ever had a uh, they don't they've never had an Equity February event. So this year I took it on myself to just speak to the local people. This was there was no profit involved. It was we wanted to do something free for the community. Yeah. So we got the dancers to come in. We got the. Um, I phoned the, uh, the local councillors the night before and said, mm -hmm. would you like to come? They were so excited because they've never had one. We used a church hall yeah. um, because it, it was it was the church wanted to work with us and we hosted a, a free event. So it is working with the community that does help as well. How would you measure success in your events? Would that be the amount of people turned up or would that be the amount of likes you get on social media or would it be by the profit you make? Um, for me right now it's not about profit because I'm starting and I think that's one big tip I'd give to everyone is yeah you're going to struggle at the beginning I mean I've gone for a nine to five job have my sari in my bag have my heels in my bag got on the train and I've gone to a different part in London mm -hmm. where I've worked on you know an event where you know I take a team with me and we're working at registrations at the event or whatever because at the end of the day I needed the extra income to pay for my job you know even now I work in different um, yeah. events but then I have to pay my staff as well some days I do find I'm working to pay for my staff but it's okay because at the beginning you have to accept that um, but uh, for me it isn't just Facebook likes it's about people talking about it it's about people saying that you know what I enjoyed it I'm gonna go next year like the success from Birmingham uh, the success from London made us think you know what we can do one in Birmingham thank you Sohana that was definitely inspiring good luck with what you're doing thank you for having and me. Um, best of luck for the future that was Sister Sohana, a very lovely sister, very bubbly. 
an entrepreneur, a successful marketing and event manager. She's part of many successful events, including fashion show, British Band Leader Shoes Who. There's so much that so much talent, so much that we're gonna see from her in the near future, so stay tuned to get so I'm gonna give.